Well, of course, we saw some pathetic bedwetters kicking off about GB News before it even launched, before it even broadcast a single second. People trying to shut down media plurality, greater choice. And yeah, other than the absolutely pathetic advertiser boycotts that we saw kick off early doors, we also saw a flood of complaints to Ofcom uh, about Dan Wooten's show where he pushed back very passionately against lockdown. Now, there were close to 400 complaints uh, about the show, but Ofcom have now confirmed they will not be taking any formal action. There will not be a formal investigation into these comments from Dan Wooten. Ofcom spokeswoman saying, our rules allow for rigorous debate around the response to coronavirus, which is consistent with the right to free expression. In our view, they say, this program included a range of different viewpoints, including on the merits and effectiveness of lockdown restrictions, and guests were able to challenge views they disagreed with. So, I mean, look, that's good to hear, isn't it? I'm sure, again, those people with too much time on their hands, nothing better to do than bitch and complain about GB News, about greater choice in terms of TV news in the UK. They'll kick up a fuss, I'm sure, about something else. But interesting to see there that their attempted takedown on GB News early doors has fallen very flat indeed. By the way, I want to know from you guys, what are you making of GB News? Like, has it changed your viewing habits? Are you watching a lot of it? What do you like about it? What do you see room for improvement in? Do let me know in the comments below, guys. And as ever, if you enjoyed this video, do give it a big thumbs up. Make sure you hit the join button. See the link in the top pinned comment. If you want to support my channel, you'll get the flag next to your name. And of course, as ever, Thanks for watching.